Welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all. So, right before I clicked on this video, y'all, I was moving the chair and I put it on my foot. And that shit hurt. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to focus and concentrate because I was going to do this video off the dome. And I said, why should I do it off the dome when I have a whole book? So, um, I will be looking down and I will be reading from the book today, but it's just the information I want to share. Um, I find this information imperative because whether you believe in astrology or not, whether you consciously use magical tools to enhance your life and your manifestations, regardless of how you do, it's important for you, again, to know the guidelines, the regulations, the rules, the laws, and everything that we do is connected. I've made many videos about this showing it proving it everything we do is connected so if you're looking to accomplish something it would be beneficial if you knew some hacks and some shortcuts right learning how to hack and use certain things to enhance your life there's nothing wicked about that okay there's nothing spooky dooky about that all right there's certain reasons why certain days of the week feel a certain way not just because of the programming that has been given to us but also because you know that's just the energy that that day of the week holds all right so today we're going to talk about the days of the week the energy it holds where the names are derived from and some things that are good to do on that day so sunday of course is obvious that day comes from the sun it's gotten its name from the sun um, it is a day with masculine energy. That day of the week is best to work with issues involving fathers and other authority figures. Since the sun is male, is masculine, it's good to work with that masculine energy. And then authority figures, at this point in time, in the paradigm in which we live in, the way how our authority and dominions are are structured is in a very masculine way right the police the government all of that like very masculine energy so it's a good day to work with that um sundays are great for working on questions of leadership confidence money prosperity and power because again those are all attached to the masculine energy the sun is connected to your solar plexus your solar plexus you know sits here it's the third chakra um, gives off the yellow yellow color, but it holds your masculine energy, right? A lot of those traits. And now, although our money is shifting more into a feminine structure, right? More lu lu uh, liquid, rather, and creative, right? A little more artistic with the Bitcoin and the mining and investments and, you know, different countries coming together to create their own currency. Our money is still very dominated by masculine. So Sunday is a good day to work with that as well. Sunday is a good day to call to God deities, masculine deities, and to work with their energy if you feel ready to do that, okay? Do not pick up and be like, oh, I'm a child of Ogon, and then you don't know how he likes his, um, you know, his, uh, his, uh, followers to worship and work with him or you're like well i'm going to work with papa leg bun and you don't know how to work don't just pick them up because they sound good okay i for one i do not um believe or subscribe for my own personal take that i should pledge my allegiance to any particular deity i believe that i can work with all um they're all here to work with me on the same level because we are all the same it's just that they're more aware because they're in that spiritual realm and here under the 3d veil you can't remember where it is but i don't want to be stuck or rigid or subscribe to any one particular thing because i feel like that's religion all over again but that's just me okay to so each its own all right now monday of course monday is moon day all right <laughs> it's dropped an o moon day that's good for your insight for your intuition um it is also feminine right because your um your inner world your intuition your emotions that's your feminine energy right that's more um of the compassion not to say softer side because we females feminine energy okay we are i hate to do fierce but i mean that's who we are right um that's why we are the birthers, the creators, um, 
but feminine energy way more powerful so monday is the best day of the week to work with the moon energy um you can do different types of meditation or divinations you can focus on issues involving mothers nurturing fertility and growth so if you're trying to get pregnant doing um rituals or working on that day is really good um or if you have mommy issues Perhaps you don't have a good relationship with your mother or you're a mother and you're looking to repair your relationship with your children. It's a really good day. Monday is a really good day to do that. Um, it is also a good day to call for clarity, beauty, and to help with women's issues. And it's good to work with goddess deities if you feel you're ready to do that. So, you know, your, um, your beauty, clarity for the inside, again, with the intuition, you're wanting um, a clear pathway. Monday is good for that. Tuesday is Mars. It's male energy, full of male energy. Um, the name Tuesday comes from their dramatic God too, because of course, you know, all these dramatic Hebrew, Greek, all of these, all these gods, they all stem from our original black deities. But because of how we live, where we are now at this point in time, it's all been convoluted and taken away from its origin. So this day of the week, Tuesday, um, comes from the Greek, Greek god and like the Roman god Mars okay um, Mars controls and rules Tuesday which you know is all connected it's associated with war so you may see a lot of these wars are they break out on Tuesdays where they start like talking or negotiations maybe on Tuesdays um, a lot of wars also start in Aries season okay Aries is Mars okay um, like this current war that's going on with Russia and Ukraine started in Aries season okay um, it is the energy is good for working on courage success and attraction and it's good to give attention to issues dealing with violence competition or survival the right use of power and sexuality can be explored today and it's good for questions of money endurance and leadership so again working with that masculine energy for um the leadership and for the money aspect Wednesday, Mercury, right? Miracles in Spanish. Um, good for communication. It's a male energy of that day, and it comes from the old English name Wednesday, which again is for the Caucasians. This name is <laughs> direct Latin term, and it comes from uh, the god and the planet, which is Mercury, right? Mercury, very large planet. And when you look at this day, it's good for communication, which is why when you also have Mercury retrogrades, that issues with technology or communication can go awry, right? Because Mercury deals with communication. It's good for thought, self-expression, wisdom, and um, arts, right? Creative aspects. It's also good for social media in this time of day, social media, internet. So if you're looking to boost, boost your following or things of that nature, doing work um, on that Wednesday, setting the intentions, uh, meditating on things of that nature is good for that time. It will also aid with magic of addiction and psychology because again, that's part of that communication with self, that inner world. So if you're having psychosis issues or you're having issues with addiction, working on Wednesday to help combat that can help aid and enhance this energy. Thursday, Thursday comes from Jupiter. You all know this is my favorite day of the week. I was born on a Thursday. Um, now, this is uh, a day that means Jupiter Day, which of course Thursday is ruled by Jupiter. It's conductive to growth and expansion, business, prosperity, abundance, success, and health. Absolutely love it. Um, this also is a masculine day as well. It's good to focus on equality, equal pay for equal work, entrepreneurship, and goals. Thursdays are also great times to focus on big issues in your life. So abundance, expansion, big issues, all right? Um, it's good for to uh, have work-life balance and harm and I'm sorry it's good for having your work-life balance and bringing those aspects of your life in harmony working that on Thursdays is really really good um Friday is Venus right our self-love that is a feminine day this day is coming from 
um, the god Frigdag, which is derived from the Norse goddess Frigg, which I've mentioned that before. If you've ever been on my website, um, if you're subscribed to my website, I've done blogs on goddess Frigg and how you can work with that energy. And goddess Frigg, along with the goddess Venus, right, along with the planet Venus, associated with love. So Friday is good for self-love self-care um you know that's usually when people like to do date night right it's the end of the week it's the beginning of the weekend um or they may take this time to relax so this day is good for working with healing protection loyalty fidelity trustworthiness and women's issue focusing on partnerships and family harmony and issues involving pets and animals also can be considered because most of the time your pets and your animals you love them right a lot of times people consider their pets their children or their best friend but very much attached and in love with their pets so this is a good day to work with that as well now saturday saturn's day this is feminine energy as well not masculine i know some people think um that Sat saturn is masculine but Saturday, Saturn's Day, is a feminine day, which is usually why people like to have fun, enjoy themselves, let loose, okay? This energy um, is good for working with the elderly. I like to work with my ancestors, my ancestor altar on this day, but it doesn't just have to be for those who have passed on. Oh, it's also good for your pets today too, on Saturday, even if they're not here with you. If you have beloved pets that have passed on, or you have spirit animals, Saturday is a good day to work with them, okay? Um, uh-oh, sorry. One second. So, Saturday energy is good for connecting with deceased. Um, yeah, both animal, human, loved ones, and adored pets. I said that. <laughs> Connect with your spirit guides and other entities. And it's also a good day to do binding spells if you are experienced. Do not work with a binding spell and fuck around and bind yourself to something that's going to be detrimental to the rest of your life, okay? It's good to deal with constrictions, limitations, or infidelity. So, you have someone that's had, um, you know, has experienced infidelity in their relationship and you're looking to heal that. Saturday is a good day to work on that okay um, so that is the days of the week and their energy in a nutshell okay please by all means do your own research and expand on this topic but in addition to the days of the week on um, the specific day having um, energy each hour in the day is ruled by a different planet it you know goes around so you have uh, the so let's say on Sunday at midnight until about 1.30 in the morning, that time is ruled by the sun. So if you look up, you can look up planetary hours, put in your time zone, see where you are, and it will tell you where you are. So let's say on Sunday, you're now looking to work with, you know, power. You work on Sunday in the planetary time of the day that's ruled by the sun, very powerful, okay? Um, Jupiter, when I launched my website, launched it, on the solar solstice but i launched it in the hour of jupiter because my business my expansion my abundance my grace right so working with that again that's good if you're looking to do a contract what does it hurt if you say okay instead of signing it at you know nine o'clock in the morning can we push it back to 12 on this particular day because this is a good time where it will make sure that it's successful right using this information is just meant to help you enhance your life all right, so that is that. That's all that I have for you today, wealthy family. Ooh, baby, it is hot, and your girl just took a shower. I had readings, and I just took my shower, and now I'm out here getting hot and sticky, so I'm going to wrap it up. But I love you guys. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for continuously connecting with me, commenting, liking my video, sharing my video, and subscribing. Like, y'all are the best. I can only imagine if I said this on a regular, t like, on a regular um, timeline, how much further it would be but i just i like it happening naturally and organically so i love you guys i appreciate you guys that is all that i have for you today and until we connect again stay alert stay aware and live in love